Hi all. Let's do some PowerShell here. Uh, before we get started, I'll do a quick joke here. It's a man and woman talking. Uh, she says, I can't learn to love you. And he says back, but I've saved $10,000. And she replies, give me one more lesson. Okay. Uh, I've got one more PowerShell here on uh, using the uh, using the profile. So let's go ahead and run through that. It's got a couple. It's got a couple of uh, commands I wanted you to see. Down here, it's got a cat command. Cat command is a common uh, Linux command, so you'll probably bump into that through your career. And then get content and set set content here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this works. Uh, I got PowerShell on my taskbar here, so I can open it real easy. If you don't know how to, to do that, it's real easy. Just go to All Apps, uh, find PowerShell, uh, right click it and go pin to taskbar, pin to start. Let's see, I already have it here, so let's see, if I unpin it here, then I should be able to come back here and go uh, pin the taskbar. So. Okay. So let's start PowerShell. And... Uh, First, we're using this command to see if we have a profile file. And it returned false. We ran this command, it got the results, and it returned false. Meaning we don't have a profile file. If we go to the folder where the profile is, you can see that it's empty. Okay, and then we can create a profile file. This is the same as the previous video I I thought it would be good to see again so it created the file here and then we can run that same command just to make sure it did it did what it was supposed to and it did create the file. You can actually go to the folder and see the file. Uh, what I wanted to show you is that if we run that command again, it writes over the file. So, just as a quick example, we can open this with uh, notepad put some text in, in there save it and here just to be sure it got saved there's the text now if we come back and run that same command again it created the same file and if, if we come back to the file here it wrote over the file it created another file and just erased the previous one so you have to be real careful there especially if your profile file gets kind of big there might be some uh, stuff in there you don't want to lose. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to 
after you get your profile file created just cr create a copy and just leave it in that folder it's fine yeah. then you have your main profile file and the backup okay uh, if we go to that profile file and let's say we put some text in, in there now of course you'll have something more important right this is just a silly just a silly example to show you what the command does so we're gonna cat on the profile file and cat is just a fast way to see what's inside of the file so we did cat on the profile file and it returned the text that was in the file Okay, so let's see what cat actually points to, right? Cat is a Linux and Unix command. And what Microsoft has done is just taken the common commands that Linux people like, that, that they use a lot, and made aliases to them to, uh, commandlet. What's the alias of cat? It actually points to git content. So it's not that they actually wrote a whole nother cat command, you know. They just, they created git content and then because cat is a common thing, they made it an alias to git content. Uh, if you don't think you'll ever work on a Linux box or Unix box, I wouldn't even bother with these. You know, if you're strictly a Microsoft person, just concentrate on the commandlets. Now, I only bring this up is sooner or later you'll bump you'll bump into someone using it, and you should have an idea of what's out there. But that's no big deal. So we can go git content on the profile file and it does the same thing as cat command. And then to go along with that, we can set content to the profile file. So set content to the profile file and give it the value of hello world. And then we can do a git content here and you can see it wrote the text to the profile file. If we go back and look at it, you can see that it erased the previous information and put the text inside there. So, you know, there's all types of options to this uh, git content and set content. Uh, uh, I fiddle around with them a little bit, but I don't really think it's that big that big of a deal right now. Uh, I personally wouldn't use set content because you don't. Sometimes you might not know exactly what you're doing. Git content and cat, I could see you using that a lot. It's like, what's in this file and you want to check it 
real quick but using set content on a file that might be real uh, real dangerous if you don't already know what's inside that file so I, I just wanted to make you aware of these uh, cat command and get content so okay see ya bye